Well, it's been a cold start to 2024 for most of the U.S., and the extreme cold comes with a price tag, one that you could be paying for even when temperatures start to rise. CNN's Karen Kaifa explains. The extreme winter weather and frigid temperatures felt coast to coast this week can come with hefty costs, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. NOAA estimated overall damages and costs of a northeast winter storm and cold wave last February that produced some of the coldest wind chills in U.S. history at about $1.8 billion. A cold snap that knocked out power to customers from Texas to Maine in December 2022 cost about $8.7 billion. Tama Carlton is an environmental and resource economist at the University of California, Santa Barbara. She says there can be individual household costs for the extreme cold. If you work in a sector that requires you to be outside, like construction or mining or agriculture, it's probably a lot harder to do your job in these events. And so that affects household incomes as well as labor supply and productivity in those sectors. Higher heating costs, even for just a week or two, can pose a challenge and risks. We should be thinking about the households who are forced to trade off increased health risk from this cold event against paying more money to keep the, the home uh, warmer. Extreme cold can also take a toll on crops and put stress on livestock, which could eventually push up grocery prices. The current stretch has also been tough for airlines and passengers. Last weekend saw more than 6,000 cancellations around the U.S. Saturday through Monday, according to FlightAware. And when a flight is canceled, airlines are required to provide refunds. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa.